Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to get this active fire data locations. Okay, so for that, we just need to go to Google and search here fire information for resource management system. So once you will search here, you will get the information here. Website showing the fire information for resource management system. Just click here. So once we'll click here, we'll get the information that the NASA's fire information for resource management system. Okay. So this distributes the near real time. That is active fire data within a three hours of satellite observations from NASA's moderate resolution image spectrometer. Also, we are getting data from MODIS and also VIIRS. Okay. So to get this data, what we need to do, just need to click on the active fire data. So once you'll click here, you will see the information is that. So we'll, we can able to download the active fire products from MODIS also and from VIIRS also and also from OLI, Operational Land Imagery, that is a Landsat. So we can get this data from last 24 hours, 48 hours or 7 days. We can get in shapefile format, KML or also in text format. So just need to come down here. You can able to see this much of area it is covered and here we can able to download if you want to download for whole world we can download for whole world there are three format is given there there's a shape file there. also google okay google earth kml and also text file data so suppose i want kml file so i'll select a google earth after that you want to download for a particular country so you can download for a particular country there is a modis data is also there and landsat data is also available there so suppose like i'm interested to download from the modis data so just need to select your desired locations like I'm interested for the South Asia. So I'll select the last 24 hour. So after clicking here, automatically it's downloading. Okay. So just need to click on the open and you will see this way we can able to add this information. This is the last 24 hour active fire information instead. So very easily we can able to get for more information, you can visit this website and you can read the information. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.